Let's get into the Forsberg Ooh. Four right now. And uh, we're talking all about D. White tonight. So I know it's All-Star Weekend, but we're going to talk a ton over the next couple days about Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Joe Mazzula, and his coaching staff. But I wanted to spotlight the one dude who has been an All-Star this season in his play and isn't going to Utah. And that's actually a good thing because he needs a little bit of rest. Like oh, yeah, he does. Derek White amongst everybody. And we start with number one because the biggest reason he needs a break is he has one hole in his eardrum. And this blows my mind. <laughs> Probably a bad pun to make when you're talking about an eardrum. But here it is. Like, the guy hasn't missed a game. He blows out an eardrum when wrestling with Grayson Allen for a ball up in Milwaukee. Plays the rest of that game. You can see the, the trainers on the bench snapping because he can't hear. And yet, wakes up the next morning, sees a specialist. And Giles, <laughs> oh boy, do I love The this. one more game. Uh, this is the whole reason we're doing a Forsberg 4 on Derek White. Because he's on the bench, exasperated, beaten, bloody lip. Bloody teeth, and what did you say to his teammates? He's like, one more game. <laughs> Here's a guy who's played in all 59 games, made like 51 starts, wasn't supposed to have this big of a role, and yet has been fantastic. And I just think that matters. To me, he's the only guy who's played in every game. And when you think about just what he's had to grind through and getting back from Milwaukee, Derek White, you are awesome, and you embody everything about what the Celtics, your best ability is availability. You're the only dude that's been out there. You deserve this. And his numbers have been fantastic over the last couple of weeks. I'd imagine that's going to factor into uh, maybe Ooh. number two. Well, that's number two because uh, 8.2 is the number of assists he's averaged over the last five games. Wow. It's actually double his season average. Well, what happened? No marker smart out there. Malcolm Brogdon was limited for parts of this run. And Derek White was like, oh, you know what? Uh, in case you forgot, I'm also like a pretty good point guard. I'll just go out there and quarterback this offense and throw a bunch of lobs and do a bunch of cool passes and get everybody involved, including Mike Muscala coming uh, right from Oklahoma City. So I, we, have this, we have in our minds what guys are, right? And like Marcus Smart is the quarterback, and Malcolm Brogdon's the second unit guy that comes in. Derek White can do a little bit of everything. Need him to be a shooter, he'll go sit in the corner and shoot. Need him to facilitate offense, he can do that as well. So shout out to Derek White. Uh, he, that night against Charlotte, 33 and 10, and had 24 assist points. So that means he generated 57 points of offense in that game to me. That is wild for a guy that we just sort of envision as the sixth or seventh man on a team. He had 26 points in the first half of that game, too. That was, that was just unbelievable. All right, what do we got at number three? All right, the, the third number is plus 10.0. And this is Boston's net rating with Derek White on the court. Not only is this the best on the team among regulars, Rob is actually a little bit higher. And, of course, I'm going to point that out. But he hasn't played enough minutes to qualify. Derek has done it. And among all high-volume guys in the league, he's top five. In fact, if the Denver Nuggets didn't have four guys in the top five, Derek would be even a little bit higher. What blows my mind is that he's actually a little bit ahead of Jason Tatum based on his, his, his recent play. Tatum's at plus 9.6. So the Celtics are 23-5, and five, an 821 winning percentage when White plays 28-plus minutes. And so what I'm trying to say is when Derek White is on the court, good things happen. And so let him do his thing and let him be great. And I think there were times at the start of the season when the team was a little bit closer to full health that his role diminished. Joe Mazzulla, as you're now no longer interim coach, play Derek White a whole bunch because good things happen. Yeah, and I mean, he's certainly going to have those opportunities if we look at the stretch run, but also Derek White seems to fit in perfectly to whatever role that he's handed here on the team. So even if it is a diminished role, yeah, he's, yeah. he's going to do it extremely well. What do you got for number four? Number four is 54. And that's the number of blocks he has through 59 games. Almost, almost a block party a night. What is crazy about this is he's creeping up on Shea Gilgis Alexander for the most blocks among any player under six foot seven in the league. It feels like at least once per night, Derek White has some sort of highlight block where he comes out of nowhere and swats someone from behind. Derek White isn't going to land on an all-defense team. We don't respect small guards. It was hard enough to, to have to lobby for Marcus Smart to be part of that conversation. But I looked up the numbers, and Derek White is holding opponents to 2.6% below expected field goal percentage. Like, and he's doing it against forwards and guards, and he's guarding centers at times. And it's all these ridiculous blocks. So I, I can't swing voters. I don't think they're going to put him on all, all defense team. But the way he's playing, he should be in that conversation. 54 blocks in 59 games. Really good. That's really good.